right now. Michael Badger, give him the hand. All right, Money Plays, how you doing? You can do better than that. Only one person is doing fine. Money Plays, how are you? I love this bar. I love the staff. Give it up for the bar staff. Stan, Stan, you are awesome. Those are awesome dreadlocks. I wish I had dreadlocks. Okay, I wish I had some hair. Yeah. <laughs> At 47 years old, you realize any attempt to grow your hair even remotely long looks like you're trying to do a comb over. Do you know what I'm talking about? You're like sitting in the mirror. You're like, eh, no, nah, this way. No, this way. Nah, fuck it. 47 years old is also the year that you realize that your next piece of ass could in fact be your last piece of ass. It's very depressing. So give it up for me. I finally got myself a job. Yeah, after three years of unemployment, I got a job. I work at a movie theater. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but I will tell you what I do. You know that really disgusting, skanky stuff that's on the floor in the aisles at the movie theater? Yeah, I spray that on. Uh, number one movie of last year. Anybody know what it was? Anybody? It was The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games Part 2. I brought some statistics along for you. The Hunger Games Part 2 has made 858, get it, $858 million worldwide. Of that, 64% was female, 29% was male, and 7% was the Republican Party trying to figure out how to get four, poor people to fight to the death for food. So people come to the movie theaters all the time. I don't get this. How do you come to the movies and not know what movie you're going to see? This happens all the time. They literally will come up and stand at the board and expect me to review the movies for them and tell them what it's all about. So I have to fuck with them, because that's who I am. So they'll look at me and look at that and they'll go, I Frankenstein. What's I Frankenstein about? And I said, well, they reanimated Steve Jobs' corpse. You had the iPhone, the iPad, now you have the I Frankenstein. Then they'll look up and they'll go, the nut job. What's the nut job about? And I say, my ex-wife, of course. <sighs> so I got a job, but it's interfering with my, uh, with my hobbies that I was getting. You get really good at collecting hobbies when you're unemployed. I had this great hobby. I was learning Japanese. I only learned two phrases, though. The first one was, nomo no soko no tsu. It's a graceful language, isn't it? Japanese, nomo no soko no soko tsu, which I believe translates into, please take your penis out of my grandmother. Because I wasn't using Rosetta Stone, I was actually trying to learn it watching Japanese porn. The only other phrase that I learned in uh, Japanese, watching Japanese porn was, eh, 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 eh. Because apparently, <laughs> this, guy, this guy's my special kind of pervert. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because apparently in Japan, getting railed by a five-inch pixelated dick really hurts. Anyhow, that's been my time. Thanks for sticking around, Money Plays. Please stick around for the next couple of artists. They'll be awesome.